good man to wonder can you just tell me about this suppose my input sequence is x of n and this is a linear time invariant system with impulse response h of n then what is my output sequence y of n x of yeah, n convolution is? with h of n x of n convolution with h of n this is a linear convolution with h of n and this is a commutative right convolution if you want you can do h of n convolution with x of n also due to commutative property of convolution and suppose this is my x of z and h of z is z transform for h of n is z transform for x of n then my output transform will be multiplication of these two things when they are doing linear convolution that will be multiplied in the z transform domain this is similar to ddft that we are going to see by default when you define z transforms roc should be mentioned right region of convergence should be mentioned whenever you are having z transform by default this should be there otherwise that will be incomplete it should be there the transform for this for this and for this also with some roc that should be mentioned okay what is the condition for stability let us think about yeah before stability let us go for causal system what is the condition for causality when you know the impulse response h of n should be equal to 0 for what for n less than 0 for n less than 0 this should be 0 right then you can say this is a causal system when can you say that say stable system absolutely summable that should be absolutely summable right impulse response should be absolutely summable this should be finite this should be absolutely summable then you can say this is a stable system stable and causal mean that should satisfy these two conditions can you just tell me the equivalent things in z transform domain for for stable ldi system with transfer function h of z this is a transfer function what is the property of roc roc should include which one unit circle okay, like should include mod z equal to 1 this should be part of your roc then you can say there is a stable system okay for causal system from the examples we will get to know that this can show the system 1 With impulse response to power n into e of n, to power n d of n, then is it causal system? Yes, sir. It's causal. It's causal, right? I like to have tick mark if that is causal. Causal and stable. Oh, is it a stable system? Unstable one. Stable, right? This is not stable system, cross mark, because this is not absolutely summable. What about the second one? Causal as well as stable. Causal and stable. It's fine. This is absolutely summable, and this is equal to zero for n less than zero, right? And what about the system third one? Is it causal system? E of minus n minus one means equal to one. Not causal. N less than one. This is non-causal, right? This is non-causal system. And is it a stable system? This is stable. This is absolutely summable because sigma n equal to minus one to minus infinity to minus one to power n. Suppose if I consider minus one, 
will be 2 power minus 1. If I consider n equal to minus 2, 2 power minus 2 plus and so on, right? It's like 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 plus. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is stable system. Very absolutely summable. Then what about this one? Is it causal? No, sir. This is not a causal system, right? Because this is not equal to 0 for n less than 0. And is it a stable system? Unstable. This is unstable because it's not absolutely summable. For n equal to minus 1, this will be 2. For n equal to minus 2, this will be 2 square. 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube plus and so on. This is not causal, this is not stable. And this is both causal and stable, right? This one. Let us comment about ROC. What the ROC for this? Mod Z greater than 2. Mod Z greater than 2, right? ROC is right side of rightmost pole. And that is infinite duration length, the sequence H of n. That should not include pole, right? Z equal to 1 is not part of your ROC. Mod Z greater than 2. It's right sided, right? Right side of outside of outermost pole, like that you can think. And you can map to this. Just try to relate this one, this one, this one, and this one, these four. And 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. What is the ROC for this? Mod Z greater than 1 by 2. Mod Z greater than 1 by 2, right? Here, Mod Z equal to 1 is not part of your ROC. Which means that should be unstable, right? That's why you got unstable. Here, Mod Z equal to 1 is in ROC only. Because Mod Z equal to 1 is above 1 by 2, right? That's why we got stable system for this. And what about this ROC? Mod Z. Less than 2, sir. Yeah, Mod Z less than 2. Mod Z less than 2. This is ROC for this one. Mod Z less than 2. It means it includes Mod Z equal to 1, right? This is a stable system. A stable system. And what about ROC for this? Mod Z less than. This is left sided, right? 1 by 2. Mod Z less than 1 by 2. Where mod z equal to 1 is not in this ROC implies this is unstable also, right? It's unstable. In the similar lines, can you tell me about this? Is it causal? Yes, sir. Causal, right? Is it stable? No, sir. This is not stable because this is not absolutely summable. If you want, you can try this. That for n equal to 0, this is 2 power 0 plus 1 by 2 whole power 0, right? 1 plus 1, 2 for n equal to 0. For n equal to 1, this will be 2 plus 1 by 2. For n equal to 2, this will be 2 square plus 1 by 2 whole square and so on. Even if you exclude this also, it's still unstable, right? And you are adding some extra positive quantity to this. Point. It's unstable. It's not stable. And what about this one? 6 1. Is it causal? Non causal. You do this, this is not, not this is not a causal system, right? Therefore, n less than 0, this is non zero. And is it a stable system? Yes, sir. Yes, this is a stable system. There is no doubt in this. If you want, you can cross check. If you take sigma mod h of n. What we are going to get is see the c for n greater than equal to 0, the c for n less than 1. Both are separate, right? There is no direct addition of for sample by sample. They are mutually exclusive, right? They are two things. Now we are going to get 1 by yeah, 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 whole square plus and so on infinity, till infinity. And here we are going to get 2 power minus 1 plus 2 power minus 2 plus 2 power minus 3 and so on. See both of the both these sums are finite. Stable system. And what about this one? Non causal. This is not a causal system, right? Because this is not equal to 0 for n less than 0. And is it a stable system? Unstable, sir. This is unstable due to the this fact, right? Due to this fact that this is unstable. This leads to unstability for this. 
Otherwise, you can add the no issue with this one. This plus this. That's also okay for me. For n equal to one, this will be two plus one by two. For n equal to two, this will be two square plus one by two square. For n equal to three, two cube plus one by two whole cube. And we'll add everything together, right? This is unstable. This is not a stable system. What is the ROC for this first one? Mod z greater than two. Mod z greater than two, which is not including mod z equal to one. It's unstable, as usual. And what about this ROC? One by one two, by two less greater than, than mod z less than two. Yes, one by two, 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 right? Above one by two and below two. Mod z. Because this is left sided, right? that should be less than this. One. Right side means above that pole. The margin greater than this one. Where margin equal to one is part of ROC. You can say this is stable, right? And when coming to this one, what is ROC for this? Margin less than one by two. Margin less than one by two, right? Because margin less than one by two intersection with margin less than two leads to margin less than one by two. Where margin equal to One is not part of ROC. This is unstable system. And you can see all these cases for a causal system. You are going to get something like margin greater than some value. Margin greater than something. This is causal, right? And here also margin greater than something. This is causal. Margin greater than something. This is causal. You can see this, right? You got margin less than something. This is not causal. Like this. When you regard this margin less than something, and then the non-causality will be there. That observation you can have here from this. Okay, can you just tell me about this? You are looking some. A jet plane here, and these are the poles. Pole at one by two and pole at minus two. This is a unit circle. Margin equal to one. Can you? Do we have any stable system for this? Is it possible to have a stable system? Let me answer this system. These are the poles correspond to H object, where H object is your transformation of a day system. Can you find? Can you find any stable system? Yes, sir. Yeah, what is that system? Mod z greater than one by two less than two. Yes, you can find the stable system when mod z greater than one by two and mod z less than two, right? It means mod z between one by two to two. That includes unit circle, right? If I have a circle here, mod z equal to two. And if I have one more circle here, margin equal to one by two. If my R O C is this ring in between, then that includes margin equal to one, right? That is a stable system. Is it a causal system? That's stable. That's fine. There is no issue with that. Can it be causal system? No, sir. Because of this factor, right? We have margin greater than one by two. There is no issue with this one. But along with that, we have margin less than two. Whenever you have margin less than something, that's not causal, right? F-sided sequence we are going to get. It means we won't have both causal and stable system in this case. It's not possible for us. Causal? Can you give me the example for causal system here? R was. Mod z greater than one by two. No, mod z greater than one by two means that is including this pole, right? If I have circle like this, and if I say mod z greater than one by two, it includes this pole, but pole should not be part of our voice, right? A pole that will diverge. Yeah, what is our voice? Mod z greater than one by two intersection with mod z greater than two. Mod z greater than two. Sorry, mod z greater than two, right? That's a causal system, but that's not including mod z equal to one. Causal but unstable system. When margin less than one by two, uh, that's possible only when 
mod z less than 1 by 2 and mod z less than 2 this is a non causal and unstable also right because mod z less than 1 by 2 won't include mod z equal to 1 here yeah, the possible arbosis that we are having for this particular example this is the definition of inverse jet transform but yeah it's hard to do combinations with the help of this one we will try to skip this one just you can remember something like this x of n equals 1 by 2 pi j contour integral of x of z into z power n minus 1 dz this you are, yeah you might have studied about analytic functions somewhere in your math course a bit difficult to explain this one and that too yeah we will never apply this expression straight away you can just remember this something is there like this contour integral is an inverse jet transform yeah let us have some of the methods inspection method inspection method means suppose i gave you this x of z equal to 1 by 1 minus okay i want to justify this right mod z greater than 1 by 2 can someone answer me what is x of n for this inverse jet transform for this what is x of n 1 by 2 all power n to the power n and u of n u of n right because this is right sided mod greater than something means right sided sequence 1 by 2 whole power n u of n see this you said based on your past results right we have some results with you the result you know is for 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 the z transform will be a power n into inverse z transform for this one is okay i am doing the reverse way right when i say inspection here we are doing the reverse way a power n u of n this we already saw right z transform for this one is 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 with mod z greater than mod a don't forget that keeping mod a see luckily here z equals to that pole is 1 by 2 that's why we are not bothering about mod by default you should not forget this mod of this pole we are trying to simply map this one to this that's what we had done we just substituted a equal to 1 by 2 here and we had done this that's what we had done by inspection the method of inspection and similarly if that roc is less than 1 by 2 mod z less than 1 by 2 that's a left sided sequence then we are going to have minus 1 by 2 whole power n into u of minus n minus 1 this also based on observation right partial fraction expansion method let me rewrite this once again mod z greater than 1 by 2 okay this is given to me and i can try to write something like this 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 plus some constant divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z power minus 1 can you just tell me what is this a value and what is b value how to find a and how to find b okay if you want uh, intuition for the upcoming thing also let me do it full 
I just can show this expression, this full expression, this equality. And I will multiply both sides with 1 minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1. So I multiply both sides with 1 minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1. What I am going to get is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z power minus 1 equals to a plus b into 1 minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z power minus 1. Now if I substitute, if I substitute this equal to 0. If I do this one equal to 0, what will happen? See the trick I am going to apply here is let us consider 1 minus this factor is there, right? 1 by 4 z power minus 1 equal to 0. Then what will happen to this? If I equate this to 0, this is 0, right? 1 minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 is 0. It means I got a equal to this one, that's it. With this condition, right? With 1 minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 equal to 0. I will evaluate this straight away, right? This will be nullified. Similarly for B, yeah, can you suggest me how to do it for B? How to do it for B? Multiply both sides with 1. Yeah, multiply both sides with this term. And after that, equate this term to 0. Then this will be nullified, right? This part will be nullified. And left over thing, we are going to get straight away. That's what our plan. Okay, here in order to compute this one, what I'm going to do is I'm simply I'll try to equate this one to zero. Implies that no need to compute z all the time. I just compute z power minus one. That's it. Anything is okay for me, right? No need to do till z. Z power minus 1 equals to how much? 4, right? 4. Z power minus 1 equals to 4. I substitute Z power minus 1 equal to 4. As I am multiplying with this term, by default this got nullified, as you saw. Otherwise, you can remember this trick. In this overall expression, I am just removing this factor and substituting Z power minus 1 equal to 4. If I do Z power minus 1 equal to 4 here, 1 minus 4 by 2 means minus 1, right? This will be minus 1. Then what will be B? I will equate this one to 0 implies z power minus 1 equals to 1 by 2. I will replace z power minus 1 equals to 2. Is it 1 by 2 or 2? 2. 2, right? I will replace z power minus 1 equals to 2 in this expression. 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2. 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 means 2, right? I'm going to end up with 2. You see my A, this is my B. Now I can find the transform of the inverse the transform of this, right? Okay, at this point, I can find inverse the transform for this one. Now you can apply inspection method. This is the ROC, this is a given ROC. Then what should be this one? Mod z greater than 1 by 4. And this should be mod z greater than 1 by 2. Now if you apply intersection, you are going to end up with this given thing, right? Based on this, I wrote this, that's it. And what is the inverse z transform for this one? Minus it's right side, right? N, U of N. 1 by 4 whole power n u of n and plus 2 into this is also right sided one 1 by 2 whole power n into u of n. In this way, I can get right. See, this is okay. My claim is this one. 
See, my claim is this is nothing but conversion of 1 by 4 whole power n u of n and 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. Is it true or false? My claim is this is nothing but convolution of 1 by 4 whole power n u of n and 1 by 2 whole power n u of n. This is true actually. I can ensure this as some x1 object, this as some x2 object, 1 divided by something. If I multiply them in the Z-transform domain, in time domain, that is convolution, right? linear convolution. That means this is equivalent to linear convolution of 1 by 4 whole power n u of n and 1 by 2 whole power n u of n, right? That's very complicated to do straight forward, the linear convolution. I can do in this way, bit easy manner, right? This transforms will be helpful. And let's consider this example. Here the degree in the numerator polynomial and denominator polynomial both are equal, right? Now I can go for some division. Whenever I got uh, this degree less than this one, then I can go for partial fraction expansion. That's part my plan. And ROC also given to us. See, why we have done this one is we just checked for whether there is a cancellation of pole or not. We just tried to split this into two parts. And we saw that there is no cancellation of poles. There is no cancellation of pole, right? Now again, go ahead. That's, that's my intention for splitting this into two parts once again. It's numerator. Suppose this is minus, minus 2z power minus 1. And what happens is, this will be 1 minus z power minus 1 whole square. 1 minus z power minus 1 gets cancelled out. At least one factor will go out, right? This pole won't be there. Such things might happen. Pole zero cancellation. Then the result will be something different. Just to know that I just did this. That's it. There is no other purpose of this. There is no cancellation. I can go ahead. This is a partial fraction expansion. 1 by 2 z power minus 2 minus 3 by 2 z power minus 1 plus 1. I'm trying to divide with the help of this one. The numerator is z power minus 2 plus 2 z power minus 1 plus 1. This thing, right? In the reverse order. Now I try to have 2, 2 times. If I do 2 times, I need to cancel this first term, right? My goal in the division is I need to cancel my first term somehow, right? That's what my ultimate goal. This first term is 1 by 2 z power minus 2. If I multiply with 2, this will be z power minus 2, right? And everyone will be multiplied with 2. This is minus 3 z power minus 1. And this is 2. And I need to subtract, right? Minus, plus, minus. This gets cancelled out. This is plus, right? 3 plus 2 is 5. And this is minus. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. I'll get this. Now I can rewrite this in this format. This long division step into this format. X object equals to this one, which is equals to 2, this 2, plus reminder, right? Reminder means this one. This is my reminder. Once again, we are writing in the standard form. This jets in this side, right side. Divided by this one. This one, right? Divided by this one. Where I already factorized this into two parts. Here the factors for this. 1 minus 1 by 2 z power minus 1 into 1 minus z power minus 1. These are the two factors. Now I can apply those tricks. I already know what is my A, right? From this, I can say that this is my A. This is my x of z. You see my x object is a partial fraction expansion. 
which is equals to this one implies a equals to 2 now if you try to solve this yeah in the similar lines only once again it is the same trick when multiplying with this one equal this one to 0 right that's what we had done z equal to 1 by 2 or z power minus 1 equals to z power minus 1 equals to 2 anything is fine and you try to find bc values after that you substitute here now can you answer what is x often for this ROC is margin greater than 1. Yeah. What is X happen for this? Let me rewrite that. The final thing I got after partial fraction expansion is this. Okay, X of Z. 2 minus 9 by 1 minus 1 by 2. plus 8 by 1 minus z power minus 1. Yeah, this is the final thing I got. And I already know my ROC from the problem itself. Then what is my x of n? See, if I need, if I want to get this as my final thing, Modulus should be greater than 1 by 2 here. Here, modulus should be greater than 1, right? The pole for this is z equal to 1. Pole for this is z equal to 1 by 2. Modulus should be greater than 1 by 2. Modulus should be greater than 1. Both should be right sided in order to get this right. This and then what about this? 2 into delta. Yes, that's 2 into delta. And it's everywhere, right? This is that ROC is entire jet plane for this part. If you can start this separately. Next up, n equals to 2 into delta of n. This is a jet transform for 2 into delta of n. Minus 9 into 1 by 2 for pole. This right side, right? U of n. And for this, plus 8 into is 1 is the pole. 1 power n u of n. 1 power u of n is nothing but u of n, right? This is just a 1. Like this we can have. This is my x of n. And that method is power series expansion method. It's Lorentz series. Okay, let us have a look into this. This is your actual expression, right? X of z equals to sigma n equals to minus infinity plus infinity. X of n into z power minus n. If I want to know what is my x of n, I can just look into the coefficient of z power minus n. The coefficient of z power minus n corresponds to x of n. That's what my plan. I just look into the coefficient. Suppose someone asks you, what is my x of minus 1, x of minus 1, then I will just look for coefficient of z power 1. If someone asks you what is my x of 2, then I simply look for coefficient of z power minus 2. If I ask you what is x of 100, just look into coefficient of z power minus 100. x of minus 10, if you want that one, look into z power 10 coefficient. That's what I am going to do. It's expansion for this, right? For n equal to 0, you see 1, x of 0, plus x of 1 into z power minus 1, plus x of 2 into z power minus 2, and so on. This side, x of minus 1 into z power 1, plus x of minus 2 into z power 2, because minus of minus is plus, right? That's why you are going to get like this. You can pick the coefficient straight away, right? These things. Okay, can someone tell me? Yeah, if this is a z transform given to you, for example, or some x of n is given to you. What is our first step is we'll try to convert this into this format and pick the coefficient straight away. 
just multiply them that's it z square into this one is nothing but z square minus 1 by 2 z power 1 this part after that multiply with this after that multiply with this and if we simplify we are going to end up with this expression finally this one now yeah can someone tell me what is this coefficient of z square response to what is that what is the name of that x of minus 2 yes x of minus 2 equals to 1 and x of uh, minus 1 equals to minus 1 by 2 x of 0 equals to minus 1 and x of 1 equals to 1 by 2 x of 1 equals to 1 by 2 and all others are zeros right all others are zeros yeah that's what we got finally we are just picking the coefficients that's it the equivalent uh, mathematical expression for that the equivalent mathematical expression right del of n plus 2 means is equal to 1 only when n equals to minus 2 and this is equal to 1 only when n equal to minus 1 at n equal to minus 1 1 into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 right yeah this yeah by default a given x of z has poles only at z equal to 0 is it true or false there is some statement right the claim here is we are having x of z equal to infinity only when z equal to, z equal to 0 is it true or false if you want you can try just substitute this is a finite expression right it's not infinite series or it's not a recursion like 1 by 1 something like that that ir expression this is fir only if you substitute z equal to 0 here this is 0 this is 0 this is minus 1 1 by 0 is infinite right that's the reason that's a pole x of z has pole only at z equal to 0 you can substitute any other z value you'll get this to be always finite this is finite you won't get infinite x of z equals to log of 1 plus a z power minus 1 where margin greater than mod a okay can someone tell me why the expression for log of 1 plus x where mod x less than 1 so by default you can use log base e Lorentz series or Taylor series expansion is there right for this one why that here by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 plus x power 5 by 5 minus and so on like this this is the expression we are going to get it's nothing but sigma n equals to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole to the power of n is it true or false? I am writing one thing. X for n by n. Is it true or false? I need some correction actually. For n equal to 1, minus 1 whole power 1. It will be minus, right? Then what should be this? Is it okay? If I do n plus 1 here, then what n equal to 1 is minus 1 whole square is plus 1 right into x power 1 by 1 is true then I should this is a thing expansion if you want minus x for this replace x with minus x everywhere then this will be minus this will be minus everyone will be minus in that scenario then yeah you are going to get just minus here this won't be there in that scenario we will write make use of this expression, this Taylor series expansion for this. Replacing x with a z power minus 1. See, mod z greater than mod a is given to us. Implies mod of this one is less than 1. If you want, you can cross check. This mod x should be less than 1, right? Mod a z power minus 1 less than 1 implies 
ಮಾಜರ್ ಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ದಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ಅದ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಜೆಡ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಮನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಜೆಡ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಮನ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಪವರ್ ಎನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಪುಲೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಯಾ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಹೇರ್ Minus 1 power n plus 1 a power n by n. Yes, minus 1 whole power n plus 1 into a power n by n. When n greater than or equal to 1. For n less than 0, this is 0, right? For n less than 0, that is 0. Power series expansion by long division. Let me have this fractional form. x of z equals to 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 with mod z greater than mod a. And it's a causal sequence and we are going to expect right sided sequence, right? We will try to divide in such a manner that we will get right sided sequence only. Right sided sequence means that series expansion should have only powers of z power minus 1, right? left side means power sub z power 1 that should be z power 1 z power 2 z power 3 and so on right side means that should be power sub z power minus 1 like z power minus 1 z power minus 2 z power minus 3 and so on right side means let me have a division of this I have this one, 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1, this is given to me. I am expecting to have right sided sequence due to this fact, R was. Let me do in the same manner, I am trying to divide this with, yeah, this one, right? Let me erase this first. Yeah, what should be the first term? I want to cancel this one. With the help of this, then what should be that? 1 times, right? 1 minus a z power minus 1. And I'll subtract this. Minus, minus will become plus. This gets cancelled out. And I'll left with a z power minus 1. Now, what should be this term? Just look into first term only. Because we have only one term, right? What should be this? In order to equal to this, Is it okay, this one? A z power minus 1 into 1 will be a z power minus 1 and the second term will be minus a square z power minus 2. Now, let's subtract this. This gets cancelled out and I'm going to end up with a square z power minus 2. Yeah, now we can speak. What will be my next one? Just look into this. This is the first term. With the help of this, I want to generate this. Yeah, what should be this? Plus? A square z, z power. Yes. It's good. This is a square z power minus 2. Then I am going to get 1 into this one. a square z power minus 2. And this one. Minus a cube z power minus 3. This into this, right? And I will get plus minus this gets cancelled out and this is, keeps on going like this right it means with the long division i am going to get 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 with this condition i have what i got is 1 plus a z power minus 1 plus a square z power minus 2 plus and so on which is nothing but a power n Yeah, can you just tell me this? What is this? What is the coefficient of z power minus x? Coefficient of z power minus n implies x of n equals to a power n you open, right? If I look into coefficient of z power minus n 
somewhere here when n is positive somewhere here z power minus some positive quantity the coefficient will be a power n for n less than 0 that is 0 right for n less than 0 there is nothing is there there no coefficient this will be x of 2 this will be x of 1 x of 0 is 1 x of 1 is a x of 2 is a square x of 3 is a cube and x of n where n is positive is a power n it's true right and i want to do reverse way z power minus 1 and i have given with modulus less than mod a i am expecting to be left sided sequence then i will do the division in this manner i will write to reverse this order minus z power minus 1 plus 1 i am writing in this order instead of this order and dividing this one with this then what is my first term i need one just look into this first term yeah i need this one after multiplication then what should be this minus minus 1 by minus a power minus 1 z power 1 right is it okay yes sir this a gets cancelled out z gets cancelled out is so 1 minus a power minus 1 z power 1 minus and plus then this will be a power minus 1 z power 1 now i need this one then minus a power minus 2 z power minus 2 plus 2 right z power plus 2 if i do multiplication of these two things minus into minus is plus and a into a power minus 2 is a power minus 1 and z power minus 1 into z power 2 is z a power minus 1 z and this will be minus a power minus 2 z square see minus plus this will be a power minus 2 z square and this trend continues right finally i am going to end up with yeah what is that this corresponds to coefficient of yeah what is this x of minus 1 right this will be my x of minus 1 and this will be my x of minus 2 and so on only for negative n right it means i am going to end up with minus x of n equals to minus a power n into u of minus n minus 1 we just change that order the reverse way right when that is left sided when that is right sided we will do in the same order in this order only otherwise we are reversing that right for this These are some of the Z-transform properties. X of n, Z-transform X of n. This is notation. And the R was here represented by R x, R suffix x. X one of n, X one of that is Z-transform. R x one is R was here. R x two is R was here for this. This is just representation of some notation. This is some region in the Z-plane. Like that again thing. It's a linear combination of the sequences. Then this will also be linear combination. A x one of z plus b x two of z, and R was it contains R x one intersection R x two contains this. It means that R was it will be at least this much. That can be above this. If some pole gets cancelled out in this process, above in this process of addition, there is a chance that some of the poles might be cancelled out. Then ROC might be bigger than this one. That's why we are mentioning only it contains this one. That can be more than this region also. It depends on context. That example. And X of n minus n naught. Okay. Let me have a look into this. X of n minus n naught, right? Yeah, and trying to prove in the easiest manner. That's why I'll do this way. I multiply z power minus n naught both sides. Z power minus n naught both sides.
Yeah, anything is okay for me. Okay, the transform of x of n minus n naught. I want to compute this. This is nothing but sigma n equals to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n minus n naught into z power minus n. So what's my plan is I'll try to replace this one with some k. Let me get some k. Implies n equals to k plus n naught, right? n minus n naught equal to k. Implies n equal to k plus n naught. And k equals to n minus n naught, where n naught is some finite quantity. This is some finite, finite. n equals to minus n naught plus n naught, right? Then what is the lower limit with this? Minus infinity minus some finite quantity. This is still minus infinity. What is the upper limit for this? Infinity minus n naught, where n naught is finite. Still this is infinite. It's finite, right? n naught is finite. That's why this is still infinite. This remains unchanged. After this notation change, I am going to end up with same thing. Sigma k equals to minus infinity to plus infinity. X of k z power. Yeah, what happens to this? Replacing n with k plus n naught. Z power minus k into z power minus n naught. Where z power minus n naught is constant with respect to k, I can take it outside. Z power minus n naught, right? This is nothing but z transform of x of n. Is it true or false? I am claiming that this is z transform of x of n. Just replacing n with k everywhere, right? I am just renaming n by k all the time. See, both are same, right? If I have n here or if I have k here, they no change, right? Both are identical if you expand them. This is x of z into z power minus n naught. Yeah, that's what we got here. And ROC will be that same Rx except for possible addition or deletion of the origin z equal to 0 or z equal to mod z equal to infinity. See, the reason for this is this factor. Suppose n naught equals to minus 1, for example. Then this will be z. If I have polar z, Polar z equal to 0, that z gets cancelled out. Then that will expand, right? For example, n0 equal to 1, n0 equal to 1, and I don't have polar z equal to 0 earlier. Now I am going to have polar z equal to 0 because n0 equal to 1, right? This will become 1 by z. At z equal to 0, I have polar, right? 1 by z means. It means, yeah, that thing will happen. That's why we have, except possible addition and addition of z equal to 0 or z equal to infinity. That's what the thing here. And z naught power n u of n. Yeah, I can have a look into this later. See, no need to by heart these statements. You can try to relate this one to DTFT. For DTFT, in place of z, we have e power j omega, right? In place of z, we have e power j omega. That's the only difference we have. And when that is x star of n, yeah, can someone tell me what is the DTFT that you got for x star of n? Let me recap that. Then what is the DTFT for this? This is x of e power omega, right? X star of, is it true or false? Do you got like this one? Yes, okay, like this one we got, right? Let me relate in this manner. Z equal to r e power omega, right? Consider r equal to 1. Just for yeah, some basic tricks. Let me think in this way. It means z becomes like yeah, how it became? X star of z star. X star of z star. 
that's our claim e power minus j omega nothing but just star right nothing but just star just star equals e power minus j omega if you do that one and the star is there right by default you can relate in this manner to d t f t there are some similarities right we have this one you can apply all those tricks this is fairly similar everyone all of them and for a, for x of minus n we are going to get x of 1 by z just folding means x of 1 by z that's it just folding means and again here look into this one that reverse of that r was c such things you can observe this thing. let us try to apply some of those properties time shifting property x of z equals to 1 by z minus 1 by 4 where mod z greater than 1 by 4 is right sided sequence right and if you try to simplify this this is equivalent to this one this is our standard form right i try to convert this into standard form for that what i had done is i multiplied numerator and denominator with z power minus 1 z power minus 1 into this is z power minus 1 And z power minus one into z is one. Z power minus one into one by four is this one. Just multiply with z power minus one and divide with z power minus one. Then I got this in my standard form. This one. Now can someone tell me what is the z transform for this part? Forget about z power minus one. This is not there. One by one minus one by four z power minus one. What is the z transform for this? One by four. Whole to the power of n u of n. Yes, one by four whole to the power of n u of n, right? Now, I just multiplied with z power minus one. It means applied a delay, right? Delay by one sample. Yeah, let me recall that. Somewhere I mentioned to you earlier, just during lectures only. Then what is the output? This is my h object. LDA system. What is the output? Delay by k samples. This delay by k samples. That's it. X of n, z power minus one means this is x of n minus one. Delay by one sample. The delay. Delay by one sample. Minus one means. If I have minus two here, this will be minus two. Delay by one sample. The same thing we are. Seeing in the properties also, in those properties also. Now, if I multiply with z power minus one, that gets delayed. That's it. Delayed by one sample, right? One by four whole power n u of n delayed by one sample. Replace n with n minus one. That's it. If this is minus two, this will be n minus two and minus two n minus two. That's it. And let me try to apply differentiation property. x sub z equal to this is natural logarithm by default log base e with mod z greater than mod a similarly earlier one right this magnitude is less than 1 log 1 plus x that taylor series expansion we have seen right instead of using taylor series expansion we want to approach this property is some other way to find x sub n if i do differentiation of this one then we are going to end up with Yes, can you just tell me how to do differentiation of this? See, log base e by default. Yeah, what is the differentiation of this? One by one, one plus a z inverse and differentiation of a z inverse. And differentiation of this whole thing, right? Inside part. Yes, differentiation of this one is zero, and differentiation yeah. of this one gets minus two. Why the derivative minus, of a z minus, minus a z to the power of minus two? Yes, that's minus. Derivative of z power minus one is minus one z power minus two. That's what we had done here. And this is the differentiation property. In the table, you can have a look into that. For n x of n, we are going to get minus z into d x of z by d z. I 
I, I have just rewritten that one. That's it. The property. Okay, are you able to understand these things? I had done the differentiation first. Dx of z by dz. Dx of z by dz. This one corresponds to that. And this is the differentiation property. For nx of n, z transform will be minus z into dx of z by dz. Now I am replacing dx of z by dz with this term. This term I am replacing here. So I will get a z power minus 1, right? Instead of minus 2 here. This is the final thing I got. For nx of n, this is the z transform I am having. For nx of n, this is my z transform. My final target is I need to find x of n, right? I know what is my x of n, x of z. I need to compute my x of n. And I know z transform for nx of n is this one. For nx of n. Now I need to compute the transform for x of n. I will divide both sides with n, right? I will divide both sides with n. If I do inverse transform for this one, what is the inverse transform for this? Forget about this part. 1 by 1 plus a z power minus 1. Inverse transform is a power n u of n. And delayed by one sample. a power n minus 1 into u of n minus 1. Is it plus a or minus a? Yeah, there is some trick. Yeah, I just missed that one. For this, we will get a power n u of n, right? We have plus here. Plus means I can write like minus or minus a, right? Minus or minus a. My standard format, 1 by 1 minus. Minus a whole power n u of n. That's what we are doing here. That's it. That's why we got minus a whole power n and delayed by one sample into a is there by default. It means for nx of n, I will get nx of n equal to this much. And I need x of n. x of n equals divide both sides with n, which is exactly the same as that Taylor series expansion method, right? That x of n. They're identical. Minus 1 whole power n minus 1 is same as minus 1 whole power n plus 1. Both are same. The reason is, what I am doing is, I am simply multiplying this one with minus 1 whole square. Minus 1 whole square is always 1, right? 1 into something is same as that one. There, there is no issue with this. Yeah, can someone tell me what to do here? You need to compute x of z for this. x of z for this. I can apply differentiation problem. Differentiation in uh, z, z domain. For this, I know up to this part, 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 with mod z greater than mod a. Now I apply differentiation for this. Minus z d x of z by dz, right? By that I can apply. Minus z d by dz of that one. And time reversal property. x of n equals to a power minus n u of minus n. It's given like x of n equals to a power minus n u of minus n. And I know that for a power n u of n, my z transform will be 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 with mod z greater than mod a because this is a right sided sequence. Mod z greater than mod a. Now, what about for minus? If for x of n, I got x of z. See, this is not that x of n, something. This is a property. For x of minus n, this should be x of 1 by z, right? That's what we have seen. Replacing z power minus 1, if we replace n with minus n, we are going to get this one. Here, replace z with 1 by z. Replace z with 1 by z means 
1 by 1 minus AZ. 1 by 1 minus AZ with mod Z less than mod E. Less than mod E. This will also be reversed, right? 1 by mod Z greater than mod E implies mod Z less than mod E. No, mod Z less than 1 by mod E, right? Yeah, I can cross check that. Yes, it's true. Mod Z less than 1 by mod E. That reversed everywhere. Replacing Z with 1 by Z. Or replacing Z power minus 1 with Z. Anything is fine, right? And again, I have a note of this. The convolution of finite length sequences. Let me get X1 of N and X2 of N as follows. And this can be done in Z domain also. In Z domain, that is multiplication, right? If we do convolution in time domain, that will be multiplication in the Z domain. We have that equal x1 of Z into x2 of Z. The Z transform for this one is 1 plus 2 Z power minus 1 plus Z power minus 2. The transform for this one is 1 plus 1 minus Z power minus 1. I will simply multiply these two things. 1 into this whole thing plus minus Z power minus 1 into this whole thing. If we simplify that, we are going to end up with this. See, z power minus 1 into 2z power minus 1 means what is this minus z power minus 1 into this one? Minus 2z power minus 2, right? And this one into this one corresponds to minus z power minus 3. That's what we are having. And there are, yeah, this thing also there, right? 1 into z power minus 2 and such things. We simplify that, we are going to end up with this. Let's multiply this whole thing with 1 plus minus z power minus 1 into this whole thing. Like that you can simplify. Now what is my y of n? y of n is linear convolution, right? What is my y of n here? You can pick the values, right? This corresponds to y of 0. The coefficient of this one corresponds to y of 1. y of 1 equal to 1 y of 0 equal to 1 and y of 2 equals to minus 1 and y of 3 equals to minus 1 and everyone else are zeros, right? Just coefficients of that corresponds to y of n. That's a convolution output, right? If you want, you can cross check. Try to convolve this in time domain and compare with this one. This looks very easy, right? This method. Just multiply and pick the coefficients. Yeah, that's it. And convolution of infinite length sequences are the IAR expressions. Consider LTA systems with x of n equals to a into u of n. This is nothing but a into 1 power n into u of n. Like that you can think. And h of n equals to a power n into u of n, where mod is less than 1. And I want to do convolution of these two things. I will do in jet transform domain bit easily, right? First multiply in jet transform domain. After that, apply inverse jet transform. You may need to go for partial fractions. Multiplication followed by partial fraction expansion, followed by inverse transform. This is the convolution of these two sequences. Consider a causal LDA system described by difference equation as follows. This is a recursive equation, right? Output is function of present input and past output also. Past output. Recursion. And just apply the transform both sides. This is similar to your DTFT, right? That we had done previously. Y of Z. And this will be Z power minus 1 into Y of Z. Suppose if I have Y of N minus 10. Then Z transform for that one will be Z power minus 10 into Y of Z. Suppose this is y of n plus 2, then that will be z power 2 into y of z. Like that, that's it. Now y of z by x of z corresponds to h of z, which is equal to this one. And I want causal LTA system. Then what will be my h of n? What will be my h of n? A causal LTA system. If I give anything, power n. Yeah. A power n into u of n. U of n, right? Yes. 
I have two possibilities for this one. When mod Z greater than mod A, A power n you open. When mod Z less than mod A, minus A power n you open minus n minus one. But the second one is non-causal. I want a causal system. That's why I'll pick that first one. Thank you.